Pika? If you thought that you were butt hurt before, well bend over, bitch. This is gonna really fucking hurt you. Hi friends, enemies, haters, and trolls. This is a video response to Darnak. Oh goody, a response video to me. This, this time you actually made a video response at me instead of what you did last time, which was you took somebody else's work, took out the video, overlapped it, did it with pig wrestling, put it up, and then several hours later, changed the title, and then directed it at me. Thank you for this time actually making it to me, cunt. Darnak, I see that you've been making quite a few videos about me. And first off, I don't understand why you hate me so much. You seem somewhat respectable on the Friday Night Roundtable, but... Uh, no, I can understand that, that you're supporting one of your atheist friends, like Thunderfoot, and um, you're angry with me that his docs were dropped. Not that I dropped his docs, he dropped his own docs. Everybody's getting angry with me as if I'm the one who dropped Thunderfoot's docs. I did not drop his docs, he dropped his own docs. He came out on video, a video that he made with Healthy Addicts saying, his name's Phil Mason. It's not that I hate you, it's just that I dislike some of the things that you actually do. Uh, you are an attention whore, you're a sub whore, uh, you suck Venom Fang, Fang X's dick just for uh, views. Um, I did not say that you dropped his dots. I did not say that at all. And. I've asked you to produce that clip where I said that. What I said was is that is that you were a fucking asshole for putting Thunderfoot's entire dot in the description in the title description of your video. I also called you a douchebag for gloating over the fact that somebody's dots were dropped. And you still don't seem to get fucking anonymity. You know, I, I don't know what I have to do to drill that into your fucking head. I'll deal with that later. I actually have, to be quite honest, I have a lot of respect for Thunderfoot right now. Took a lot of balls to come out and say his real name, where he lives, right there on the camera. And now if he goes ahead and starts burning Korans, I'll be even more shocked. I'll be like, wow, this guy... <laughs> he either has a death wish or he's just the, the the bravest guy that ever lived almost I mean because those Muslims aren't gonna put up with it I can I can I can sh assure you that he starts burning Korans and and all that kind of stuff and they know exactly where he lives and where they can find him mm -mm, it's not gonna go well I'll tell you that much again you're sitting there gloating about him having to drop his entire dots because that's going to stop him from doing something political or expressing himself in a certain way do you understand that at all you know living in fear of somebody attacking you it's why we have anonymity here on the internet, or at least some of us are trying to hold on to that anonymity so that people do not physically retaliate against something that we say or something that we do. Do you get that at all? Have you yourself ever been physically attacked for your political stance, for your religious stance, for your sexuality, for the color of your skin. Have you had to go through any of that in your entire life? If not, 
Get rid of the smug fucking attitude and shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, to address your video, uh, you're, you want your anonymity because you got fired for being gay. Okay? As I said in my comment, your employers are not allowed to fire you because of you being gay because that kind of discrimination is illegal. You could sue them if they fired you for being gay. But I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I would bet um, that they didn't just fire you because you were gay. It might have been because you were saying some of the negative religious slurs like Fuck you. Fuck you, you piece of shit, garbage ass, motherfucker, sorry excuse for a fucking Christian. Fuck you. You do not know my fucking life. Do you get that? And yes, right there I did attack you because of your fucking religion. Fuck you. The reason why I waited until 24 hours to make this video was because I was exploding yesterday when I heard that comment. I could not calm down for over a fucking hour and I'm still fucking pissed off. It's why right now Darnuk declares that your channel is my new bitch. I will go through your entire channel and make so many goddamn videos about you and criticize and ridicule you on so many fucking levels that if you think that you were bitch hurt before, you have not seen anything yet. Was headed in my direction and you're denying that you did this. You read through all the comments, read through all the comments in your videos that you made about me, see what your subscribers are writing. You dis you came up with the with the idea to cr to recreate the acronym. I, like you, do not control what other people write. I hope you understand that. You know, like you have no control over what your subscribers write on your threads. Yes, I came up with a game. I did. And I admit that wholeheartedly. And people played along. What they came up with was on their own volition. I did not tell them what to write. They willingly chose to play along. And you got severely butt hurt over it. And that puts a smile on my face. Okay, my channel name is called Peace in Christ Alone. A.K.A. Pika. Okay? You wanted to change that acronym to mean something else, something funny, something creative. Instead of Peace in Christ Alone, we have with some options. Particularly idiotic Christian asshole. Per person in crazy asshole. Prostitute in come alone. I like that one. Uh, piss and cup alone. And there were some few other ones that I skipped over. That is, in my opinion, disgusting. I'm not going to go through all the, the, the names. They wrote them, and you said them. That makes you just as disgusting as they are, in my opinion. So, because I read off some comments that other people wrote, that makes me disgusting, in your opinion? Well, let's make it a little bit more disgusting. And let's show every single one. My two favorite ones is Piss and Cup Alone and prostitute and come alone. But I ask people, um, out of everyone that you just saw, um, which one do you like? The one that is mentioned the most? I shall start referring to him as that in upcoming videos. But for the remainder of this video, I will be going back and forth in between piss and cup alone and prostitute and come alone. Free country, freedom of speech, you can say whatever you want. 
And that's exactly what I'm doing, and exactly what you're doing. The only difference is, is that I'm willing to suffer the consequences for what I say. You are not. You have not liked the backlash that you have been getting because of you sticking your nose into other drama and intensifying it to a point that other Christians are telling you to shut the fuck up. Okay, all I'm going to say to you, Darnak, is that you should be ashamed at the negative slurs against my religion, okay? Not one time in this video exchange that we've been having back and forth or in the comment sections have I ever done a religious slur to you. The first time was at the was at the middle part of this video where I called you a sorry excuse for a Christian because you have now pissed me off to such an extent that I'm almost at that level but I'm not going to go there that would be playing into your hands and I'm pretty sure that most theists that watch that is not going to have a problem with what I said Thunderbolt 94 um, South Dakota girl 31 and Sally Summers have all told you that I have not said any religious slurs to you and that you sir are lying that's not right and you did it you know you did it your subscribers wrote it and you repeated it that makes you just as guilty as they are for writing those negative racial slurs I'm not gonna repeat them Racial slurs? Racial slurs. You just said religious slurs, and now you're saying racial slurs. You see, this is what happens when you do mental gem gymnastics. You lie to yourself. And you start confusing a lot of shit. Uh, but, racial slurs I've asked you and other people I've asked you to point out where I did a religious slur and other people have gone back through my videos and said no you no dar you did not uh, use any religious slurs but now you're saying racial slurs how much further down are you going to go? You know, like, like every time you hit a bottom, you seem to be able to go even lower. Oh, I cannot wait to go through your channel and just make it my bitch. You know what you did, alright? It's the same as if I were to say negative racial slurs against you, like calling you a black bitch or a fag or something like that. And you just did, for the second time, actually, because you were reading the comment that you left on one of my videos. That's called passive aggressiveness. You know, by, by saying, I could call you such and such and such, but I'm not going to. You are a fucking dickhead. That's wrong. I should not do that, okay? And I don't do that. All right, I've always been very respectful to you, but you have not. Like in last Friday's Friday Night Roundtable, when I asked you not to call it a homosexual lifestyle, not to call it an agenda, and not to call it a choice, and you kept doing it, and then you twisted a question that was asked to you, um by complete rationality if you've ever considered what heterosexuals do as the heterosexual lifestyle and you said yes which I called you out on that and you still have not addressed it I still call bullshit I don't think that in any point in your life did it even cross your thought patterns let alone come out of your mouth the words heterosexual lifestyle no, you have not been uh, respectful to me.
Uh, and if you want to still say that you have been respectful to me, the video that you put up and then retitled and then and, and then it, and then set it as a video response, which was about swines and pig wrestling, has a double meaning in religion. Uh, and so does the um, and so does the verse uh, Mark seven six. They both have double meanings. Uh, you are calling me as a non-believer, the lowest animal on the planet. So fuck you too, my new bitch. And I have no desire to poke wrestle you. Before I go, I'm just going to say one last thing. People have the right to feel safe. But Thunderfoot messed with Venom Fang X. He messed with Dawa Films and caused Dawa Films problems in his real life. Now he's suffering the consequences. Anyway, you all take care. Peace. Let's give you a little history lesson. I'm sure that you've heard or seen videos about this and you're just totally fucking ignoring them but let's just give you a little history advice about Venom Fang fucking X Venom Fang X is a notorious false flagger and dmca -er. Venom Fang X is the one that DMZA'd and false flagged many videos and went on a severe smear campaign against a lot of people that were correcting him. The reason why Thunderfoot has um, the Why Do People Laugh At Creationist series and why Venom Fang X is in it is because he is because Venom Fang X knows jack shit about what he is talking about. And many people have called him out on his bullshit. And some of those people that called him out on his bullshit were false flagged and DMCA'd. Yes, Venom Fang X made an apology video, but the greater majority of people can tell that he was not sincere. And if you could watch watch that, that video and say, oh, Look, he apologized. It's all over. Yeah, bullshit. Because he started some of his same crap again after he came back after a year of being away. Yes, lately he has been on good behavior, but Venom Fang X is an asshole that deserved to be kicked off of YouTube for quite some time. You left in a comment section that uh, that Thunderfoot should uh, take down his slur videos on Venom Fang X. Hell fucking no. Venom Fang X did a lot of bullshitting stuff. He also uh, asked for donations to um, to give to a hospital called Sick Kids Hospital. You made a response video to his most recent recent video of his asking for donations, where Venom Fang X severely screw uh, twisted what happened in that time frame. I am not going to go into details of every little thing that happened then, but this is the gist of it. He asked for money for Sick Kids Hospital and said that it was going to them. Then he changed uh, where the money was going to and how much was going where. And then he changed what he was going to do with the money again. And really, we don't know what fucking happened to it. Another thing Venom Fang X did was that um, he put out that DPR Jones was a pedophile. Venom Fang X went on a smear campaign against DPR Jones for a blog TV where DPR Jones was raising money and had one girl girl who was over 20 years old take off her, her bra and shake her boobs in front of people to raise money for a charity. Dawa Films. Dawa Films is the one that started the bullshit more than a year ago. And there is no confirmation 
that because of what subscribers of Thunderfoot did caused Dawa Films to call his embassy. There's no evidence for that at all. And like I said before, what somebody's subs do is not that person's fault. Um, Thunderfoot never asked his subscribers to go call the FBI on Dawa Films, even if that happened. You cannot blame somebody's, what one person does on somebody else. Okay, this is not a country where we have shared responsibility. This is where every individual is supposed to be responsible unto themselves. And right now, you, peace in Christ alone, piss and cup alone, prostitute and come alone, you, sir, are not taking responsibility for what you are doing. I am done. I am not playing your friggin' outro because you are a friggin' sub whore.